1891, and it is a V-nickel. You can barely see the V on there. Just as I was talking about quarters. Man, silver quarter. Hey folks, I just wanted to go over these new display cases that I got. Um, I got a tip from JL Digger, Jeremy, up in Ohio. His YouTube channel is JL Digger, and you should go check him out. But he told me he got these cases, um, and I saw the cases in this video. Um, and so I figured I'd buy them, and uh, they're working out really good so far. This big one in the middle here, I got a lot of big stuff in there, like boot heel plates, and I actually had a uh, coat hanger in here, and it actually worked. Uh, mason jar lids and padlocks, big old buckles and horse reins guide. And they're really good, and it can hold like a lot bigger stuff than this. It's got, it's really thick. You see how thick it goes down there. You can get a lot bigger in there. It's got a couple pieces of foam in there, so you can even if you want to put bigger stuff, you can take a piece of foam out, goes down a little bit, so you can display bigger items. And I really like how they look. They're a little different from the Riker mounts, um, but I like them. I like that white background with the foam in there. Just a uh, pretty cool there, and they've got some smaller ones here. These are all um, the finds from the house site I've recently been doing. Not all the finds, but some of the ones that I put away there. It holds coins and pocket watch parts and everything. Big door hinge in there. I just wanted to share uh, some new display cases that I got. You can stack them and hang them up on the wall. Some stuff might slide down. You might have to uh, kind of get it down in the um, in the foam in there for it to really hold. But it's got rings and insignia and everything. A lot of buttons in this, this one. A lot of buttons. World War II buttons and 1800s buttons. And I've got a flat button up here, a Waterbury button. And these can fit a lot more too. I've just kind of got it spread it out a little bit in there. But it can hold quite a bit. I really like this big one. It just pushes the foam down. You see those locks? They're like barely pushing down at all. And I'm also currently trying to find a uh, manual battery charger to do some electrolysis because I want to clean up some of this iron stuff I've got before it gets corroded away. That lock, once I clean it up, oh my god, that thing's going to look gorgeous. So I'm currently looking for that. I've got quite a bit of uh, like axe heads and stuff I got in a bag at home that I want to clean up and figure to get a electrolysis uh, running. And also, I just purchased this yesterday. Magnet fishing. That is a hundred pound magnet. Um, I was looking at some online and like Home Depot and stuff, but I actually got this at Spars. I don't know if you have Spars in your area, but it's a hundred pound uh, test. It actually has a little safety piece you can put over the top there, a piece of metal, and it basically cuts it down to like no pull at all um, so you don't have to worry about uh, like taking it wherever you go and worry about it like snapping hitting your car or something and it's not too strong like it will not crush your hand if you get it in between like the refrigerator or something um, but you do definitely want to be careful with these magnets they're very strong magnets and uh, you definitely want to be careful I might get a uh, like 200 to 400 pound magnet here in the future but I'm just one of I'm just starting out I went out yesterday just uh, for about 10 15 minutes and tried my luck nothing yet but I'll be making some videos of magnet fishing I got a good strong uh, 150 pound line here um, so there's gonna be some magnet fishing videos in the future so we can look forward to that. I'm really excited to see what comes out of the water. 
and I might try a different setup here with this. I might try to put something on the end there. I know people put Gatorade bottles and stuff so it doesn't get caught in the muck. There's not a lot of trees in the waterways. There is some, but there's a lot of weeds and all, so I don't know about stopping that, but we'll see. The magnet was only $12, so if I lose it, no big loss, but just want to do an update here. And give a shout out there to Jeremy JL Digger for uh, I saw his 2016 Best Finds video and I asked him about these cases. Showed me or told me where he got them from. I actually ordered these ones from Amazon. These look pretty similar to the ones he has, um, but they work great. And just want to say thank you, Jeremy. That's awesome. I, I wouldn't have thought of these things. I've seen the Riker mounts and all, but they're pretty expensive. These were fairly cheap. I think I paid $30 or $35 for all three of them, plus shipping. So, it's a killer deal. And wanted to inform you about the magnet fishing. I'm really, really excited. I know a few spots where there was Seminole War activity, um, crossing over rivers and stuff. So, maybe we'll pull something out from the Seminole Wars. 1820s or 1840s, that would be great. Pull an old uh, musket out of the water or something. Old cannonball. So I am excited. Very happy, folks. And just want to give you a little update on that. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be out today, so hopefully I can get something good for you.